Hey, what's up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. We're down in Guatemala right now, in Ixtapa, Guatemala, doing a series. We've been spear fishing, we've been exploring, we've been catching all kinds of cool fish. But today, we're heading to the port of San Jose to go to the largest fish market in all of Guatemala. And guess what? You're riding shotgun. You boys ready for this or what? Let's go. That's Brito. Let's do it. There's Kevo. <laughs> There's our boy Alejandro. And then we got Miguel. Here's our driver. Ready? Ready. Please don't. Okay, doke. Keep going. Vamos. Hey, who wishes they were over here to just jump in that swimming pool right now? Oh, we got a window? I've wanted to roll this window down for the last three days, and now it happens. Yeah, well, he had the child lock on, you <laughs> big goofball. What's up, amigo? Yo, dear me, you think we ought to pick out some flowers for mom? Oh yeah, she'd love this. Look how beautiful that is. I mean, so many different types. It's unbelievable how beautiful the flowers are. I love meat. So anytime I'm in a market like this, I wanna see how the people are cutting and what they're doing with it. That's the inside of the stomach of a cow. Oye, con esto que van a hacer? ¿Cómo cómo lo van a preparar? El amarillo. El amarillo. Como cocido, hervido. Sí, cocido, hervido para hacer una para fajita, una sopa eso. Ah, perfecto. Yeah, so they're gonna make they're gonna boil it and then they're gonna make fajitas out of it. Boil it and make fajitas. Yeah. Can you just ask them when was this cow? Did they kill this cow this morning? Yeah. Oye, esta vaca cuando cuando mataron esta vaca? Ayer. Ayer. Ajá. Yesterday. Yesterday. Yeah. It smells very, very fresh. It's so interesting to me. <laughs> really amazing produce. We're here at the auction and we're trying to get everybody out here. accesibles. Carne de puro novillo, excelente posta para guisar. Carne suave y la especialidad de la casa, la longaniza, saquexada, la unidad de longanizas, carne suave, saquexada, la unidad de chorizo, solo bueno. Hacer que se compruebe la calidad de carne que le tenemos. Aquí como siempre, carnicería Nuevo Príncipe, a la vanguardia, con los mejores precios, los mejores cortes. It's just amazing to come and be a part of a market like this and see their culture and be immersed in it and understand that, yeah, this is different than where we live. But this is totally normal to them. Gracias, señor. Totally normal to them. And I'm amazed by the quality of the produce. Every part of me right now wants to buy some of that meat and cook. But years ago, when I was about 20 years old, we, we had a cow in Fiji that I ate. And I got so sick, I got so sick, I just can't bring myself to, to eat meat out of an open air market right now. I just, I just can't do it. They're not selling that as a pet, just so y'all know. That's not a pet. You could literally roll up in here, get yourself a chicken and a pot all in the same spot. I'm all about that. Look at this. Okay, Aubrey, what do you think, bro? I love these markets all over the world, man. People doing commerce, small scale, just it is what it is. You need something, let's go find it at the market. Okay, so this is the meat market right here. This is a park. 
that as soon as all the stores shut down, you know, all the kids like to come around. We got a fish market over here, and then we have a spice market uh, all around here in this little cool square. Where do we go next? Dude, do the spices and then the fish. Let's go. Oh, Ari and Emma. Oh, those are, that's bird seed. <laughs> I thought those were sprinkles. Woo! Getting warm. We're just rolling around the market here, and one thing I love when I travel, I love getting a massage in all the different countries because there's so many different styles of massage. I also love getting my hair cut just to be a part of it. There's something special about a haircut, and I'm about to get one. Ask him, can you do a high fade? You just want the sides or you want the tattoo? A little on the sides. So make me look pretty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah? All right, hey, before, let's see what I look like after, y'all. I love this. I absolutely love this. Makes me think of the Fresh Factory in Saipan. I would go once a week, get my hair cut, and then I would go over to the Royal Thai Massage, get me a massage. Best three hours of my life. My name is Walter. Walter? Yes. He was. He was. His name is Roberto Walter Ericton. Ah. My name is Walter Humberto. Walter Humberto is mi amigo. Yes. Big Al, how's the cut? Looks fresh. Looks like you're about to Bro, run. I am so ready right now. Looks like, looks like you want to be in the 82nd. <laughs> hey, let's go. Rangers lead the way, baby. There's my man. So those are Pacific Lane Snapper one of the most uh, exported fish here in Central and South America, the Pacific Lane Snapper. Hopefully we have the opportunity, maybe even this afternoon, to go out and try to catch some of them. That's a Cabrera. So cool, man. That's octopus. Hola! Hola! <laughs> yeah, man. ¿Cómo se llama? So I just found out this. That. They refer to this as a cucaracha or a cockroach. Back home, we call them bugs, or we actually call them a, a shovel-nosed lobster. We're gonna buy some of these for sure. So, I'm just smelling of them to make sure they smell good. Yeah, total. put them on there. Yeah, there you go. Everyone say it with me. A la cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> We've got sesame. Look at that. Gigantic shrimp. These things are going to be so good. I think something like that. Four, yeah, but whatever this is, however much that is. Y me pone cinco cinco libras del gamón este grande. Eh? Ah, yeah, squid. Yeah, we'll take a couple. Sí, se lleva un par de ellos. I just love coming here and finding fresh seafood like this. Yeah, look at these puppies. Frescas. Mira, esta. Esta, esta, esta.
Sí. Me falta un poquito para tres, una para tres libras. Tres libras. Perfecto. This is amazing, you guys. Absolutely amazing. Just cruise around buying fresh seafood. I'm not buying just for us. I'm buying for everyone back there. It's just the way my family is. Bueno. Bueno. Gracias, mira. Gracias. Okay, now we gotta go pay this lady. Oh, I got an idea. Check it out. Stans fam, Nick Stanzik, my boy. We're buying these just for you. These are all going on the boat tomorrow in honor of my bro, Nick Stanzik, the Stans fam. Yeah. Yesta. Yesta. Trenta. Quanto? Trenta. Trenta? Momentito. Mira, 100 es mejor. <laughs> Buen día. I see some clothes I'd like to buy for Sarah. Whoa! Mamacita! Jody was telling us how good Venezuela or uh, Guatemalan bananas are. So That isn't one. quite ripe yet. Well, well, look, we're eating. You want to get one that's ripe? Get one. See those over there? That'll be good. The little ones? Yes, those will be super duper good. Trust me. I hope you. Just get, we don't need a whole thing. I just want one to eat right now. See how it came off real easy? Yeah. Now eat that. Thank me later. No, I'm no, taking no. this home with me. This is like the best anchor rope in the whole world. And I just got me 400 meters of it. Thank you very much. Gracias, señor. Okay, I was almost out of money, so I had to do some heavy negotiating, but I did get a steamer. All right, I'm out. Aubrey went that way looking for butter. For butter? For butter. Two. we need mantequilla. And we're back. Buena Vista Sport Fishing Lodge, here we come. They got a, they've actually got a couple epic pools here. We got all the seafood. We're about to set up the grill. I've got 400 meters of anchor line and a steamer. Yes, please. That fellow right back over there, his name is Flacco. We actually met him out in the boat on the first day we were fishing. He's a commercial fisherman. Today, when we were at the market, Lo and behold, he recognizes Alejandro, basically because Alejandro is like seven feet tall. We get to talking, having a good time, and oh my goodness, I was like, please come over to Buena Vista because we're gonna cook dinner. Now, here's a pool, here's a grill. We're gonna get this grill all set up and we're gonna cook some of the lobsters and shrimp and everything else that we had earlier, but I have something very, very, very special for Flacco. He's spraying bleach into the water, obviously to kill any of the bacteria that's growing on the outside of them. That is amazing to me. Like the whole head is kind of full of meat. So this is a authentic Guatemalan recipe and he's putting like a garlic butter inside the cucaracha. Now he's putting onion. Yeah, that looks amazing. We've got lime, salt, garlic butter, onion, all smashed into the split cucaracha. 
Now I'm curious as to how he's gonna cook it. <laughs> Guess what? They got a little love package right here. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't expect that. He just put it straight in the coals. They told you the name of this one? Cucaracha, la cucaracha. Look, you guys. This right here, this is Miss Susie. Her and Jody own Buena Vista Sport Fishing Lodge. I'm telling you right now, this lady's smile and laugh and excitement for life, it's infectious. I love her to death. You're the best. And she smashed Austin's face into a cake, which makes me like her even more. <laughs> okay, what is he saying? The cucarachas are boiling right now, and I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay. All right, eight more minutes, and they're ready to go. Eight? I'm ready for that. On our first day of fishing, we were out offshore. We were about 45 miles offshore, and we see Flacco and his cousin and his friend working. Monday through Friday, Flacco spins offshore in a ponga. Like, no shelter cooking on a little on a little stove eating what they catch catching fish so they can bring back and sell to pay for his family now you got to understand to spend monday through friday with three men on a ponga is an amazing deal but he does it week after week after week helping to pay for his family he catches fish primarily mahi mahi tuna and the occasional shark whenever i saw his daughter he's got a four-year-old daughter named charlotte and I thought of my daughters. And if I were offshore Monday through Friday with no communication, that would just freak me out and I would be impossible for me. But he does it. But when we went to the CNMI, the sat phone store, they gave me two satellite phones with SIM cards and everything. So what I wanna give you is a satellite phone and I'll pay the minutes. So anytime you need to call your family when you're offshore, you always have a phone. Can you please tell them what I just said? Está increíblemente agradecido no solamente por la información que nos diste el otro día cuando estabas pescando, sino por lo que haces por tu familia y por tu hija. Y sabiendo que él tiene dos hijas, eh, pensando en lo que sería para él estar siempre fuera de ellas, Quiero regalarte este teléfono satélite para que puedas hablar con tu familia y para poder comunicarte con ellos y siempre estés seguro eh, y tener la certeza de que siempre puedes estar comunicado con ellos. Okay. Hey, sí. Increíble. Es mi pro. Felicidades. Bravo. And you know, I want to say, I want to say thank you very much to the sat phone store. They knew that we were going to spend this huge trip in the CNMI, going out to Pogan and Mog and all the other islands and they wanted us to have a sat phone. I actually broke down and had to use this sat phone to get help. I never publicized that, I never showed it, but this phone helped me get help. I can only imagine how cool it will be for you to be able to call your family and just say, we're safe, we're okay, there was a big storm, and God forbid if there was a problem and you were drifting, you can call for help. Bueno, Soma siento 723. Los que descienden al mar en naves y hacen negocio en las muchas aguas, ellos han visto las obras de Jehová y sus maravillosas en las profundidades. Man, that's such a phenomenal verse. It's those that go down to the sea and do work in ships, they see the work of the Lord. Amen, bro. It's phenomenal. I love that. Psalms 107, 23, and 24. It's amazing. Eat as much as you want, man. Hey, that's all I got to say to you guys. The food is amazing, but the people are what it's all about. When we come to Guatemala, each and every time I get here, I meet somebody new, and I feel like I have so many friends here now. And Jody and Susie, thank you so much. You have such a wonderful lodge, full of amazing staff, wonderful people. You make us feel like home. And uh, I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I absolutely love it, love it here. Brother, brother. Love you, bro. Absolutely love you, bro. 
Susie, so thank you. We're so blessed to have you. We feel blessed to have you as a yeah. friend, honestly. Yeah. Well, it's great. Blessed. I get to bring my brother down here. You know, whenever I was just a kid, Aubrey would pick me up on his bicycle and we'd go fishing on the dock, sharing a fishing pole. Now we have the opportunity to fish with wonderful gear in amazing places for the fish of a lifetime. Then I get to meet guys like this. <laughs> Captain Alejandro. Rangers lead the way. All the way. Football, absolute all pro stud, number 78 lineman for the Steelers and the Ravens. But he's just a great guy. And then I meet Flacco, a dude who lives on the ocean, taking care of his family. This is an absolute perfect situation. And folks, I don't know what you're going through right now, but today, right now, I hope you're enjoying your day. That's all I got. Take care, God bless, and we are Aubrey. Tell them, we gone.